Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the news. It's Thursday and we got a lot of really cool stuff to talk about. Let's get into it. First up, first up, Elena said on Twitter to share your thoughts. If Adventure Quest Worlds offered a way you could play automatically to farm, level up, gain gold rep class points, would you be interested? We would give you a way to easily see who was auto playing. I said, yeah, I'd be interested. Uh, I figure why not? It seems okay. So here's my quick rundown of my opinion on this, and we'll move on to the next topic. If you're going to have a game in its current state where there's things that there's things to farm for, where it's just like you could set a keyboard macro. And it would farm it the same as you sitting there, wasting your own time. If there are things in the game like that, where you can set a simple like three button keyboard macro and it would do it to the same extent of you sitting there clicking those three buttons on your keyboard, I think that's okay. But if it's playing the whole game for you, like doing full quest lines by itself and stuff like that, yeah, that's really not good. So hopefully, if they do implement something like this, it'll just be a simple thing to do and not like crazy huge like the current botting programs that are available. Uh, and it might actually help with not making people bot as much, like not relying on bot programs. So that might be a good step because anything that needs to be farmed mindlessly and just droned on, smashing a few keys could be do done in game legitimately and you wouldn't need to install a bot to do those annoying parts of the quests and farming for items and stuff like that. So, that some people find annoying. So, yeah, I don't, th do I think they're gonna actually implement this? I don't. Uh, actually, I think it's like a 25% chance of it, in my opinion. But it's pretty cool and something to think about. If you have any comments or any points of anything, any cool, a little thoughts on this you leave that down in the comment section i'd love to read that okay so if botting in the game official botting wasn't cool enough we have i just logged into warlock's newest version of the artix game launcher which if you're not cut up there's a game launcher that's coming out for artix entertainment games that's all the info we have on it so that's all i'm gonna say i'm not gonna uh it was announced in a video on the official artix youtube channel you can watch that if you want so, they they got the game running on the launcher. So it's a screenshot of Alina's desktop, it looks like. Adventure Quest World, so you got that as an application in Windows 10. And you can see all the programs, just Skype open. And what looks like a developer version of Chrome or something like that. So there is, there it is. There's more info on this, of course, on this client version of Adventure Quest. Now, I asked Alina about it. She said it would run up close to the same. 23 FPS. Now, I think the screenshot was taken standing still. Right now, I'm getting 23 FPS on the desktop client. Test versions of the mobile IQ uh, have been much higher. So once we shift focus to that, we'll see some pretty insane improvements. Yeah, mobile was sitting at locked 60. Uh, so this is 23, which I think standing still in a full battle and that's about what you get right now on PC if everybody's standing still. Uh, when the frame rate goes down and what's awful about the frame rate in AQ is when anything's moving on screen, like if a character's walking across the screen, stuff like that, or if you're in combat with the animations, that's what drops the frame rate. Standing still in a battle on does not really affect the frame rate too much. It might as well be a picture at that point with maybe a few tiny moving objects on the screen. So the client version is up and running. Uh, now someone asks about the server rewrite and Alina replies, Artix is planning to talk about this when he makes the fuller post on the game launcher. Now if there's a lot of info on this, uh, we'll probably talk about it in the stream tomorrow or if it's enough info to make an interesting video, I might do that. We'll see when we get that long post about the update. Pretty cool stuff. And on June 12th, with, which is the Philippines Independence Day, uh, there might be server boosts. There's, that's about all the info we got from Alina for this week. J6 with some new weapons, looking very nice, very nice. A lot of the other artists in the community were really complimenting and shading on this. It does look very, very good. J6 
J6 also with a new monster that we'll probably see this week. Uh, I'm not sure what event we're doing this week, if we're doing part three of the three part series or if we're doing something else. I'm actually not sure. I probably could look it up, but uh, yeah, don't really want to. So moving on from J6, we got LA working on a new set. LA makes a lot of really badass sets and this one looks very nice. The shading is very good. LA's shading is always very good. It's pretty unique too. I like it. Krulong has been updating his shading uh, a little bit before and after shading picture here on what looks like a new armor. It's definitely new armor. It looks a very cool, very cool. I like it. Rare with a brand new anime blade you said. Uh, I think we're getting a Friday 13th soon, so you might see that for that in the future. And last but not least, if you'd like a link to any of the Twitter accounts and tweets that I'm talking about in this video, they will be in the description of this video. So, last one from A ranks tier 1, tier 2. So, package looks similar to a previous package. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people say that, but the uh, tier 2 looks really, really badass. Looks like we've had this before a few times, but this one looks really cool and very nice. So, that is the news for... Wait click on bank uh this week uh tomorrow there'll be an event of some sort and i'll be streaming it on this channel so make sure you tune in for that uh check out my second channel i stream games on there that aren't adventure quests uh we're getting close to a thousand subscribers we're only 200 away so if you'd like to go subscribe there and be one of the first a thousand people subbed on that channel that'd be pretty cool uh under 1000 club and uh, yeah leave a like if you like the video subscribe to the channel if you're not already and i'll see you guys all in the next one peace Oh yeah, AQ3D got a UI update and it's getting like a Deadpool release tomorrow that I might stream on Saturday. We'll see. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye-bye.